What's up, everybody? Welcome to some Soul Tie Vengevine. Hope you're ready to get your graveyard going. Get some nice little grave crawlers coming out of the graveyard. As far as our opening hand goes, yeah, this is yeah, this is not too bad. We've got Watery Grave, Overgrown Tomb, Blooming Marsh. We have Glimpsey Unthinkable. And we do have Lot Let Troll. We can get that down to kind of discard Prize Amalgam if we want to. If it gets a little bit hairy, we will have Narcomoeba into Lot Let Troll to kind of go for some Vengevine action. But we will keep on this one. Yes. Opponent is on the play. But yes, welcome to some Soul Tie Vengevine. Um... I've seen red green vinge vine kind of popping up recently, and so uh, I figured I'd kind of bust out the soul tie vinge vine, which is a lot of fun. We're playing, ooh, playing against Delver. I like that. Maybe blue red Delver or something like that. But yeah, soul tie vinge vine is a lot of fun. It's um, I love getting out the hedron crab, man. That always uh, feels really good. Um, now as far as turn one play, let's just go ahead and get the um, we'll go ahead get the watery grave into play tapped. Uh, that way we. Um, you know, our opponent doesn't know we're like all in graveyard until we actually go for the glimpse of the unthinkable targeting ourselves. So at this point right now, uh, we'll just put it into play. Maybe they think we're on some sort of Grixis Control or Death Shadow. And then the Delver does not flip, which is really good. Now, as far as Delver is concerned, we do have Stinkweed Imp, so we can get that on the battlefield. And we'll be at least be able to kind of hold Delver at bay, even if it's swinging on the ground. Or if it finally does flip, uh, we'll be able to kind of deal that Delay Death Touch ability and kind of take care of it. I guess this is Jeskai Delver, I would assume, maybe. We'll see. Or maybe just blue-red Delver. Uh, but yeah, next turn we'll definitely be going for Glimpsey Unthinkable. That way we can kind of really bust open our graveyard. And then hopefully we'll kind of hit some nice little um, some nice little Venge Vines off that uh, Glimpsey Unthinkable. Now we do have Lot Let Troll in the hand. So as far as the... Once we go for Glimpsey Unthinkable next turn, uh, on turn 3 we're going to be able to get down Lot Let Troll and then hope that we... Um, hope that we can... Um, hit a Grave Crawler off the Glimpsey Unthinkable and then maybe a few Venge Vines and we can kind of recur them out of the graveyard. Drawn to Dread Wanderer. Okay, let's go ahead and get the Blooming Marsh down. Let's go and go for the Glimpsey Unthinkable. Well, our opponent knows what's up. <laughs> There's no better feeling in Magic than glimpsing yourself for 10. It just, uh, oh, feels good. Love it. All right, so we end up hitting a Grave Crawler. We do hit the Grave Crawlers, but we do miss out on um, any sort of Vengevine action, which is uh, a little bit of a bummer. But, um, yeah, we'll go and pass the turn. Just kind of taking in the Graveyard. So, we do have two Grave Crawlers in the graveyard, Lot Let Troll and then Gurmog Angler. Um, as far as what we're concerned with, just the two Grave Crawlers is going to be enough. Um, and then they do get the Insect, um, they get the Delver to flip. So we may end up shocking the uh, Overgrown Tomb into play to kind of get down Sneak Medium to hopefully kind of uh, reduce the, uh, the three damage that's coming across. Hey, put this down to 16. Draw to Diagraph Ghoul. <sighs> Let's go. Yeah, let's go and go for that. Let's go and shock this in. Let's go and go for Stinkweed Imp. Let's see if we can't um, see if our opponent's got some sort of bolt. If they do have bolt um, or path or whatever, if this is Jeskai, um, you know they do bolt the Stinkweed Imp. Then we'll at least have the Dredge option out of the graveyard, and maybe we can set up a really nice little explosion. Because Stinkweed Imp does have Dredge five, which um, Stinkweed Imp kind of took the place of um, Kogari Thug. Not Kogari Thug. The uh, Uncle Gary. Go Gary Grave Troll. There we go. Took the place of Go Gary Grave Troll, so just to have that nice little five dredge option. So, draw into. Oh, wait. Opponent goes for Mana League. That's fine. Not going to be a pip. Nope. You're good. All right. So now we do have Stinkweed Imp in the graveyard. Uh, we do have a turn. Uh, next turn, we have Lot Let Troll coming down. We can actually discard a few more to kind of make it really nice. Uh, make a really big Lot Let Troll. And then hopefully we hit a Grave Crawler, and um, we hit a Vengevine off the uh, the Dredge off Stinkweed Imp, and then we'll kind of be in business. Uh, we're at 40 cards in the library, so we've seen about a third of our deck. So hope, you know, odds are we hopefully we should kind of hit a, a, at least a few um, a Vengevine off the Stinkweed Imp. Okay, puts us down to 11. And it looks like we're playing against Grixis Delver now that they shock uh, search up the Watery Grave. So one thing that would be good in this matchup is we do have Knot of the Bone in here. So if we get into spots where we can bust a nice little Knot of the Bone, kind of pad our life total, it's always a really good way to kind of help us uh, buy a little bit more time to kind of set up a nice little Alpha Strike out of the graveyard. So see what they're going for. Now, we did see Mana Leak. We might be seeing another Mana Leak on Lot Troll, but um, at least at this point, we'll just go ahead and uh, we've got to go for it. All right. Let's go and dredge Stinkweed Imp. Did we hit? Oh, beautiful. Two uh, double Venge Vines. All right. So on this one, let's go ahead. We're going to go ahead and go for the Lot Let Troll. And the cool thing about Venge Vine is it's a cast ability. It doesn't matter if the spell resolves. Simply just casting one of our one-drop zombies out of the hand will allow us to go for that. But at least on this one, we're going to go ahead and discard a card. Discard Prized Amalgam. Get us a nice little 3-2. And then let's go ahead and cast a Diagraph Ghoul. I think that sounds good. 
Yeah. We're going to cast Diagraph Ghoul. Get the double Vindrines coming back. Always yield. Always yes. We want those Vindrines back. Come on, buddy. Love Vindrine coming back out of the graveyard. Always feels good. All right. So we get the Diagraph Ghoul on the stack. We have double Vindrine coming out of the graveyard. It's going to be eight. And then the Prized Amalgam doing the backup on that, too. Yes, use that ability. And then Prized Amalgam will be coming back at the end of the turn. All right. And what we're going to do is, you know, our opponent has one mana up for Lightning Bolt on Lot Let Troll. Let's just go and swing in for four, see if they use it. And then um, we can go and discard a few cards to kind of make a Lot Let Troll a little bit bigger. All right, swinging so in for four. That's going to be eight coming across, which will put them down to seven. See if they're tapping out four on this one. Terminate. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. All right. Lose that one. And then we will have... Um, we do have Gravecrawler out of the graveyard. So next turn, we can simply just cast the Dread Wonder and then get Gravecrawler coming back out and kind of go for that. Anything else we need to go for? No, we're going to pass the turn. Prize of Malcolm's coming back. And then, okay. There we go. All right. So as far as next turn goes, um, we're going to be able to at least push in. That's going to be 7, 8, 9. Um, and then 10, 11, 12. So we're actually going to have Lethal with Lot Let Troll coming across. And then we have three more creature cards to discard to Lot Let Troll. So let's say they do go for, you know, if they have another Terminate in the hand, Destroy Target Creature can't be regenerated. Um, that will kind of stop the regeneration clause on Lot Let Troll. But um, we can at least cast Dread Wonder and then cast the Gravecrawler out of the graveyard because we have Prized Amalgam, which is a zombie, and we also have Lot Let Troll, which is a zombie. So we can simply just um, cast this onto the battlefield and then cast Gravecrawler to uh, get them out there. Now, if they want to swing in for three, they can, but if they kind of hold back with um, their Delver, I feel like we'll be in a pretty good little spot. And then once again, uh, we can still dredge, um, we can discard Stinkweed Imp to Lot Let Troll to uh, give us another dredge option for next turn. And this deck pretty much operates, can operate at about 3 mana. That, that's, um, once you get to 3 mana, you're in a pretty good zone. Uh, there will be some times where you need to hard cast a Vengevine to get to 4 mana, but um, 3 mana is pretty much the sweet spot on this deck. That's why, if you are going to play it, let's say you do have some of the cards, uh, you do need to, uh, minus 2, let's go and discard a card in response to that. So let's go and discard the Stinkweed Imp. Could make it a nice little, uh, make it a nice little four-three. We're gonna lose two life. They're gonna gain two life. Puts it back down to a two-one. Now if they swing in with the insect. That's gonna be three. Puts us down to six. And then next turn, yeah, we we'll still have a nice little chunk of damage coming across. So we'll see what they're gonna go for. If they do swing in with Delver, okay, no swinging from Delver. I like that a lot. Let's go ahead and go and dredge the um, Stinkweed Imp out of the graveyard. Maybe we can catch another Vindrine off that. Do, do not catch one, but we do hit another Gravecrawler. I mean, in fact, let's go ahead and... They've got one card in hand, so they'd have to be like Bolt, Bolt, and then Insect to kind of take care of it. So let's go ahead and push on this one. Uh, let's go ahead and go Gravecrawler out of the graveyard. And on this one, we don't really have anything else that we need to discard to Lot Let Troll. So let's go ahead and cast the other Graveyard out... Uh, the other um, Gravecrawler out of the zombie. Out of the graveyard, excuse me. And then bring back that Vindrine. All right, beautiful. All right, let's so go and send the whole crew in, and we'll make sure we have enough lethal coming across. So we've got four, eight. That'll be um... okay. Opponent scoops it up. Had lethal coming across, and we had at least three more creatures to go ahead and discard a lot. Let troll. So it looks like we're playing against a Grixis Delver. Maybe Grixis Death Shadow, um, but with our opponent wasn't that aggressive with their life total, so probably just Grixis uh, Delver. Now, as far as this one is concerned, let's go ahead and bring in... Um, we could bring in a nice little Snapcaster package. Um, we did see Mana Leak on what, a couple of our options. But I think as far as Stubborn Denial or anything like that goes, I, I kind of like being pretty aggressive with our, our milling on this one. So let's just go ahead and bring in a Knot of the Bone. You know, there will be some Lightning Bolts hanging around in that deck. Let's say they bring in something like um, Young Pyromancer. Um, we could bring in Fatal Push, but... Um, yeah, let's just see if we can't get it done going like full blown graveyard. And then on this one, I like the Gurmog Anglers in here, and I do like the double Stinkweed Imp as allowing us to kind of block on that. Same thing with the Narc Amoebas. Uh, let's just go and back off on one Dread Wanderer. So we're going to back off the Dread Wanderer and then go for the. Um, bring in the Knot of the Bone, which kind of gives us a little bit of an extra edge as far as let's say we can't get our graveyard going and we just really gain that life total. And we're going to ship this one over to game two. You know, argument could be made for uh, bringing in Fatal Push, but if this is some sort of Delver deck or some sort of Delve Grixis deck, I might see Gurmog Angler hanging around in there, so they may not have any sort of uh, kind of hard graveyard hate. Uh, ooh, beautiful. I love it. So we got Hedron Crab. Um, we might sequence it a little differently. We might go Hedron Crab, then Gravecrawler. Um, 
Well, we'll go and test it. Yeah, we'll go keep on this one. Beautiful opening hand. Yeah, we'll probably go and get down the Hedron Crab on turn one off one of the Catacombs of the Marsh Flats. Um, that'll give us a, a nice little, um, some nice little milling action, and then we can follow it up with uh, Glimpse the Unthinkable to kind of get some more cards in the graveyard. And then simply having Gravecrawler out of the graveyard, which allows you to kind of cast any of the other uh, Gravecrawlers, will uh, hopefully get us in a spot where we can get those Vengevines going. All right, opponent's starting off with the Island and Serum Visions. But yeah, as far as this deck is, you know, it is like a dredge deck, but it's almost like a zombie... I don't know what to call it. Kind of like a zombie combo. Not really combo, but I mean, it's just... You know what I'm saying. It, it's just, it resol revolves a lot around a lot of your one-drop zombies. Let me put it that way. All right, let's go crack this Polluted Delta. Let's get down Hedron Crab. Oh, yes, Mr. Krabby Patties. Tap for blue. Get down Hedron Crab. Anything else? No, we're gonna go and pass the turn. All right. So next turn, we're gonna be. We do have at least one green source in the hand with the Overgrown Tomb. Uh, one of the things you do want to be careful with if you're gonna play this deck is making sure that you at least do have two green sources. Um, that way, if you do get into spots where you have to hard cast Venge Vine, you'll have access to double green. If you start uh, double fetching like double blues and then you mill away your couple of your um, Overgrown Tombs, it might be a little bit of a bummer when you need to kind of hard cast Venge Vine to get something through. All right. Mad respect for the Hedron Crab. <laughs> Gotta take care of it. We still have Glimpse the Unthinkable, and that does keep them off Mana Leak, so at least we'll get something to kind of show for it. We draw into a lot of Troll. Um, let's go ahead, I guess on this one. Now if we crack 16 2, that'll put us down to 14 to make sure we hit a green source. But, you know, if we do mill out one of our second green sources, we'll be okay. Um, let's go, we'll go and get down Urborg, and let's go and go for uh, Glimpse the Unthinkable on uh, targeting us. It's going to be 10 cards in the graveyard. Did we hit an Narcomoeba? Do we hit anything else? Unfortunately, we don't. But hey, you can go Narcomoeba beat sticks all day. All right, we do hit a Nod of the Bone, which is nice, but we don't have a huge uh, creature count. And then anything else, we're gonna go and pass the turn. So, as far as our hand, we have Lot Let Troll and Grave Crawler. What we can do is we can go for Lot Let Troll next turn, shocking in the Overgrown Tomb, uh, discard the Grave Crawler and cast it. What we'll probably end up doing is um, just simply going for the Grave Crawler once we get down Lot Let Troll to get it on the battlefield. Tassiger, all right. We can uh, build a uh, a big enough Lot Let Troll to kind of compete with Tassiger, so I'll see if we can't get that done. That's always a lot of fun building yourself a nice little Voltron Lot Let Troll. All right, um, our opponent is completely tapped out too. I think this would be the best bet for us to go for that. Yeah, let's go and shock the Overgrown Tomb in. Let's go and get Lot Let Troll down. Actually, we'll just go ahead. We could cast... I'd like to hold up green mana. Well, we're playing around Terminate. And, you know, if we, if we lose Lightning Bolt to Lot Let Troll... Yeah, let's go and swing it for one on this one. Let's go and swing it for one. It's going to put our opponent down to 16. And then we still have Nod of the Bone, so if they do swing with Tasker, we can at least kind of force the issue on that. Maybe we can do it at the end of our opponent's turn, and that'll kind of give us something to do next turn. I'd hate to lose Lot Let Troll. You know, if they have Terminate, they have Terminate, but if they have Lightning Bolt, we can go for the re regeneration off that. And then next turn, we can still discard Gravecrawler to give it a nice little counter. Let's start swinging in. But yeah, you know, if you don't get a lot of Inge Vines off your uh, Glimpsey Unthinkable, sometimes, you, you know... There's going to be some times where you just go Gravecrawler Beat Sticks, which is uh, really a lot of fun. And you would not be surprised, but that trample damage really does kind of matter in some circumstances. You know, once you get Lot Let Troll to about a 5-4, 6-5 uh, body uh, with some of those uh, creatures coming across, you can really put in a nice little chunk of damage. All right, we've got Tessica swinging in for 4. It's going to put us down to 11. We're going to let this go through. If need be, we can actually just chump block for days on Tessica uh, going for that. And the opponent's passing the turn. I'll take that. Life from the Loam. Okay. So, let's go ahead and... Let's go and cast the Gravecrawler out of the graveyard. Let's go ahead and get the Swamp down. Let's go and go Life from the Loam on this. We're going to grab, um, let's grab the Watery Grave. And we're going to grab the Polluted Delta and the Dark Slick Shores. Alright, let's go and pay green on this one. And then let's go and swing in for three. It's going to put our opponent down to 13. We'll take another Tassiger hit. But after that, we'll be able to, um, you know, next turn we can discard the uh, Gravecrawler, give uh, Lot Latrol a nice little 3-2 body. And then we have one, two, three. We only have uh, three creature cards in the graveyard right now. I think we may, um, let's see, anything else? No, we're going to go and pass the turn. 
Okay, so we'll at least have Gravecrawler on the battlefield. We can start swinging the Gravecrawler. Um, we still have a uh, Knot of the Bone, too, which will allow us to gain two lives. So that'll be one, two, three, four, five, six. That'll be six total, which, um, you know, may not be the best. But at least we'll be able to kind of fog out a Tassiger turn, at least as far as that's concerned. All right, swinging for four. It's going to put us down to seven. And that still leaves us enough mana to go for a Knot of the Bone, flashback out of the graveyard, and um, giving the uh, Lotlet Troll regeneration. So we'll be okay on that. It's going to dredge life from the loam. Ooh, hit double Vendrine. Okay. Let's go ahead and... I haven't even sequence this. Let's go and swing in with Narcomoeba and the Gravecrawler. Let's go and do that. Let's go and swing in. Let's go and do that. Yeah, let's go and swing in. Now, if we send the whole crew, we can go for Knot of the Bone. That'll be two more. Let's go and do that. Let's go and swing in with the Lotlet Troll and the Gravecrawler. It's going to be five coming across. Puts them down to eight. Let's go ahead and discard a card. Let's go and discard Gravecrawler. We need to get some damage in on this one. And it'll kind of make sure we really use that life to the, um, use that, uh, excuse me, the Knot of the Bone. All right, puts them down to seven. Anything else? Let's go and put the Dark Slick Shores into play tapped. Actually, we can go Catacombs. No, let's put Dark Six Shores. Okay, and we're going to go and pass the turn. So next turn, we do have six total coming across. They are at seven right now. Um, we do have Gravecrawler in the graveyard, so we can cast it if we want to. We're kind of holding on to it to see if we hit another zombie. Then we can cast that and then cast it out of the graveyard. And then we still have not. So if they do tap out for anything right now, maybe they go for a Tassiger activation. Um, I think that's what they're debating for right now. We'll probably go ahead and bust the um, Life from the Loam. Yep, let's go and go for that in response. Go for Knot of the Bone. The best opportunity to go for that. So we're going to gain two life. Free. Okay, go back to 19. They'll put two cards in the graveyard. Either way, we're still going to go ahead and give them, probably give them Serum Visions. Yeah, we're going to give them Serum Visions. Um, yeah, that's fine with that. Let's go back to the hand. They get Serum Visions. Okay, opponent scoops it up. Um, you know, maybe they had a weak hand or something like that, but uh, take it in two on this one. You know, there, there could have been an argument for maybe not casting the second Gravecrawler. That way we did get lucky kind of hitting the double Venge Vines off that. But um, at least we uh, kind of went a nice little lot let troll beat sticks on that, put our opponent down to seven. Um, you know, as far as them... Clear my throat for a second. I um, mean, you know, if they do end up starting holding back Tassiger, uh, we still had Narcomoeba out of the graveyard. And then with us, what's, excuse me, with us having double Venge Vine uh, coming out of the graveyard, that would have been almost uh, really um, hard for our opponents to kind of come back for once we kind of drew into another creature. So, all right, everybody, if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.